Welcome to another program. This week I'm going to publish two videos. One of them is going to be about the threats and opportunities that Corona has created uh, in the region, uh, which we can count for Turkey. And the other things, uh, is it possible that uh, during the 2023 elections, the effects of the Corona uh, might cause an administration change in Turkey? Uh, but first, in this program, we want to talk about the threats and opportunities that Corona has created for Turkey in the region with the uh, changing parameters of uh, security, uh, food supply, uh, not only uh, within the region but globally. So, uh, without any further delay, let's start. Now, Corona has created uh, many problems uh, for uh, all the countries globally. Mm, at this moment, the, epidem uh, the pandemic uh, center seems to be uh, United States and Europe. Uh, China has already sorted out m uh, the problem uh, about the uh, spreading of the disease. Uh, every uh, city has already resumed work. Uh, but the first quarter of uh, economic uh, indicator uh, shows that uh, Chinese uh, GDP has shrunk by 6.8% uh, within the first quarter of 2020. It's a great uh, reduction or sh shrinking, let's say, in the economy. And this has been showing that how Chinese economy at this moment is vulnerable. Uh, are we expecting that the Chinese economy is going to grow again very fast? Because usually whenever you have a deep uh, shrunk in the economy, uh, you are supposed to have an immediate uh, rise also. Uh, that is not very much possible. Uh, there is certainly it will be a rise we are expecting because uh, at least the domestic markets are working in China. But we have to also remember that the domestic markets in China is working also for the productions or the, for the sale of the uh, export activities or and import activities. So what does it mean? Uh, China is buying the raw materials or the goods and they are putting uh, some spare parts on it or they are using the uh, raw materials to do something else and they sell back to also uh, other countries, especially Europe and the United States. Now, if it is a case, which it is, then it means that the European markets as well as the United States markets should be again opened and resume as it is, or as it was before. But we do not expect this happen quickly, especially within the United States and also Europe. We expect that this pandemic might, at least for the United States, it will go for um, maybe June or July. And for Europe, uh, we are hearing that some countries are tr considering to open it during the May. Already they are opening some schools and so on and so forth, but there will be some steps and levels. Uh, but we also believe that it's not going to be very quick. They want to see this so end of May or mid-June, it might be resumed in Europe, maybe. Uh, so if it is the case, which is again, we are going to say it is, then it means that the Chinese market is going to recover. But um, it will shrink again. I mean, it will uh, again. It will be minus two percent, or it will be uh, minus one percent, or three percent. At most, we are considering three three point five. But uh, it will not be as good as previous years. It depends. In uh, third quarter, everything is again resuming working. Then Chinese market, or at least uh, economic indicators, will grow up again on the positive side. But not in the second quarter. We don't think that. That's why the oil and the gas prices will not go up. At this moment, it's 27, 28 barrels per uh, per uh, oil uh, prices is uh, 28 dollars per barrel. Uh, it's around one bottle of water and one bottle of. Uh, I will say oil is almost the same price, if I may say, around this. And um, which means that uh, even though it's very cheap, nobody is buying because there is no more production, so on and so forth. And also the summer came or arrives already here in Europe also and uh, in the United States too. It means that uh, there will be only uh, energy used to for households, especially at this moment. Uh, if the corona is still is going to create a threat as it is today, uh, the production lines will not be resuming working uh, um, as it was before. 
that's why we are expecting an economic shrink or uh, economic uh, reductions in uh, especially in the Middle East manner and also in Libya in uh, Egypt and uh, let's say in the northern uh, Africa also countries too now we are coming to Turkey this is going to create a lot of uh, unemployment especially for the foreign experts especially for the engineers and others service industries like the financial industries also in uh, MENA regions Dubai, uh, Jeddah, Riyadh, Abu Dhabi, Qatar and Kuwait, Omar uh, are all going to be affected negatively in this regard all the expats uh, will, or most of them will be uh, unemployed because of this because there will be no, uh, no, no need for uh, developing new reserves and or uh, new projects the ongoing ones will be much more than enough so uh, at first the oil or the energy sectors is going to be affected negatively now since it is the case we are going to see less foreigners in the MENA regions moreover we have heard before that uh, the Roosevelt's uh, aircraft uh, came back to the United States because there is a, a spread of coronavirus within the crew now we are hearing that the Charles de Gaulle uh, aircraft also uh, returned back to France because of the coronavirus uh, spread in the in the in the uh, aircraft and which means that also we are seeing also the foreign soldiers uh, now coming back to their own countries uh, because of the threat of corona uh, if you look at the history there have been lots of uh, pandemics uh, meanwhile the wars had happened if you look the crusade and we have we can see that there were a lot of pandemics and diseases that took place and in and the last uh, crusade uh, uh, actions uh, and then the Europeans have decided that it's enough because of the pandemic we are losing uh, almost uh, more than and that we are losing in the uh, war so they said it's enough and they they lost Jerusalem for that reason so for this uh, it's creating a lot of opportunities for Turkey which Turkey is now taking advantage of it if you come and if you see let's say in Libya Libya now uh, Turkey is, uh, has planned an, a military uh, drill uh, including army and navy and air uh, force uh, it will be a joint one and uh, Turkey is going to also use its uh, UAV the unmanned air vehicles uh, for that purposes and this one is going to only show off uh, its power to Hofler and Russian uh, operatives over there Turkey has gained or the, the uh, Sajjar's uh, existing nation, uh, national uh, assembly uh, of Libyan government has already uh, gained a lot of territory again and uh, the control of these territories will uh, give some kind of uh, I will say uh, uh, encouragement to the uh, Sajjar uh, government and this is going to also lead Turkey to start training uh, many soldiers as much as they can and the main reason is this after these uh, corona will end which everybody considers like the third quarter of 2021 uh, and then there will be more uh, uh, operations and actions will be on site so that means that the Sajjar or the government of a national uh, body of Libya is going to or Accord uh, government is going to take this opportunity or and Turkey with Turkey of course to train soldiers so each year you can train in between 3,000 to 5,000 uh, soldiers and Turkey will take this opportunity to, to have or maximize the army of uh, the National Accord government like I will say uh, 10,000 I will say if possible 15,000 at most with a uh, quick a little bit training uh, opportunities and then this army uh, will be uh, matching in terms of quantity with the Huffler's uh, forces because they are usually or they are <coughs> mainly uh, receiving the uh, paid soldiers for that from especially Sudan and this is going to uh, at least match uh, with the Huffler's uh, forces and with the technical, technical technological advance uh, of uh, such a I will say or the national government uh, accord government uh, this uh, war in Libya might change uh, dramatically on the behalf of uh, the national accord government including Turkey
as they desire. Then it means that there will be more things might change in the Middle East and also in the uh, Eastern, I will say, uh, Mediterranean region. Especially Turkey is also, we will see more that Turkey is going to increase the, its um, drilling activities or uh, survey activities there in order to find the reserves. I will expect that uh, Turkey will announce this uh, within 2020, maybe last or 21, so that uh, Turkey will start uh, doing its projects in order to meet its own energy resources with its own uh, energy uh, sources. And this is going to also be good for the Turkish economy in the long run. Okay. Uh, about the short term, uh, everybody is talking about the grain um, prices is going to increase. I do agree that because of the risk and other things, but everybody is talking that it's not because it's, we don't have enough grains. It's not exactly true. I, I said also last week that it's going to be a problem, but it's not going to be a vital problem for us. The main reason is we are, <coughs> we are producing 19 million tons to 20 million tons per annum and we uh, also use or consume 21 million which means that we have to buy 1 to 2 million uh, per annum from other countries now Russia has cancelled uh, Kazakhstan even has cancelled America seems like also cancelling all these uh, sellings grain sellings but we do not need these grains the main reason is because we buy also grains in order to uh, use them in uh, pasta and we are doing pasta and we are selling these pastas to other countries so if you really think about the domestic use it's less than 19 million in that regard so what is going to happen is that uh, Turkey is not going to sell these things to other countries which means that uh, Turkey it will be more than enough for Turkey and the consumption within Turkey now, Turkey real threat is going to be immigration we are hearing that the numbers in Iraq is uh, increasing exponentially which means that <coughs> because of the less revenue in oil and gas uh, there will be internal or domestic uh, uh, I will say fights if not war in later on uh, will increase in Iraq because of the less revenues the Iraqi government from Saddam time up until now use revenues and money to as a glue to maintain the unity of the country. Now, if this go goes away, there is nothing that will hold these different fractions together as a unity in Iraq. And when this comes, uh, Turkey is forced to compel or will be compelled to um, use its forces to, uh, in, uh, to go into depth of Iraq again. Uh, because if you leave it alone and there will be other fractions uh, coming up and this will be a national threat to Turkey with this you have to also remember that this is similar threat to Iran so which means that Iran and Turkey will feel these threats and they are going to start have a I will say a fight or a struggle against each other uh, in order to uh, be uh, keep the power in Iraq including in Syria because Syria will be the same there is uh, already an ongoing war, Turkey is there, Russia is there, United States is there. And to be honest, uh, now with the increasing number of uh, daily cases in Syria too, and uh, Syrian economy cannot uh, cope with this and it will weaken the country, which is also going to be the same issue as Iraq for Turkey and Iran. So there will be also a struggle in, uh, on Syria about to uh, keep the unity yeah, and also the control of the country now since it is the case we will see from Iraq Syria the Iraq Syria the Mediterranean Libya up until to Algeria Tunis and everything even the uh, Egypt will be the problem which means that also um, in uh, Yemen we are going to see now Turkey because uh, Turkey, uh, in terms of humanitarian uh, aids, uh, Yemen has uh, requested uh, Turkey to help them. Turkey decided to go in and uh, now Turkey also uh, will be uh, investing in Yemen for the uh, infrastructure uh, projects, which means that Turkey also is going to show its power in Yemen in terms of military in future. That will be the case because uh, it will be very much on the route of the energy supplies and Turkey will be uh, there as much as uh, it can uh, therefore it's going to uh, create uh, not only Yemen but uh, let's say uh, the existence of Turkey's or increasing effects of Turkish military in Libya 
the increasing of uh, Turkish presence in uh, Iraq and Syria, including the Persian uh, region, is going to sh have problem with not only Iran then, it means also with uh, United Arab Emirates, including the Saudis and Egypt, a lot. So we will see more and more problems with them in future. But as said, the most important for Turkey in that regard, as much as military uh, threats is going to be immigration, Turkey is going to receive some, I am expecting within one to two years, uh, some couple of millions, I will say, especially from Iraq, Syria, uh, Afghanistan and Pakistan, especially from these countries, and uh, which is normal, and we are going to open our arms to them. Uh, it's not about the wars that are escaping, it's about the corona and the effects of corona on their lives, because they need food to survive and other things to go on. So it means that uh, really uh, there is nothing much these people can do because their governments are a little bit problematic, especially in Iraq and Syria. They are corrupted, which means that they are going to uh, leave their countries. And as a culture of Turks, we are going to open arms and we are going to welcome them. Although there will be a lot of uh, opposition uh, sounds we are going to hear, but really we are going to help them a lot. That's going to be positive in the long run to Turkey. In Europe, what we are expecting is nationalism is going to arise again. And it will be a very determining one. And the European community uh, has uh, apologized from Italy, officially I will say, by a declaration of the President of the European community, saying that uh, in, the, in the times of uh, support, we haven't shown our best to Italy. And for Italy, it's too late to accept this, and even though they are happy to hear that, uh, they said. But it's really too late. Now, after this corona has gone, uh, or at least to uh, come to a much more manageable uh, levels, Italy is going to make a lot of noise about this, including Spain, Portuguese, and most of the Mediterranean countries, and also some Balkan countries like Romania, like uh, Hungary, uh, other countries like Greece. Uh, Bulgaria, they are going to create also some problems because really they didn't show solidarity in that regard. So what does it mean? Uh, the European, it will be uh, we will see more uh, countries uh, that the nationalism is arising, like in Hungary, uh, it's going to be there. It, in, 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 we expect in Italy, and uh, there might be some problems. We do not expect in the short and the, in the long term that the European community will dissolve. No, it will not. But it will be heard a lot. There will be a lot of administrations might be changing. Nationalism will, will uh, arise. If there will be coalition, we will see more um, portion of nationalist parties in these coalitions. It means that um, the European community's foreign uh, agenda is going to change. So they are going to neglect in the Middle East in that regard. That's why it's going to create opportunity for Turkey to go in and to fill this power uh, vacuum over there. They have to, in order to, because any 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 parties that leaving the Middle East or not showing the uh, the support to the uh, the oppositions of the uh, Turkeys, uh, it will be a, a power uh, end of power, lack of power, and this power should be uh, filled uh, mostly by Turkey, if not Iran, then and Turkey will have to do that. It's uh, like should be compelled to. And that's a great opportunity for Turkey. Either you will agree or not, I don't know, but uh, I think Turkey uh, is going to use this and uh, increase their uh, presence in this Syria, Iraq, uh, I will say also in the uh, Northern Africa countries, especially Libya, uh, the Mediter uh, in the Eastern Mediterranean Sea, also Turkey is going to show its presence or increase its presence by uh, survey and drilling activities. And also in the uh, Arab Peninsula, especially in Yemen also, uh, we are going to do that because uh, Yemen is asking uh, Turkey, you know, the help for Corona and infrastructure projects and so on and so forth. So we will also help them over there. So maybe in Turkey, in return, Turkey might ask later on some kind of uh, military uh, base, which is going to be good on because this is on the route of the energy supplies and Turkey will be, uh, will be happy to be there. So uh, we will see what will happen, but we are projecting that in a couple of years Turkey is going to increase its um, presence uh, in these regions. Economically it will be hard, if not impossible, but it will be really hard. 
but we think it will be. Uh, at least they will do something else. And yes, economically, the, the, the bill is going to be too high for that, but Turkey is compelled to do so. And I agree in that regard, I have to uh, admit, uh, Turkey is compelled to do so. If not, because other countries will feel it and uh, nothing will be empty. I mean, in the universe, uh, if you leave the energy to the universe, it's spreading. If you leave something empty, something is going to feel that. So either Turkey is going to do that or Iran or something else, but somebody is going to do this. Or a country is going to do that, most likely. That's why we uh, strongly believe that Turkey is going to feel that they are compelled to do so and they will and in that regard I do agree with that uh, approach anyway um, if you like this video there is a uh, like button under the screen please uh, press on it and if you subscribe to our uh, channel we will be happy to uh, see you also there is a bell uh, icon there please uh, press on it and you will receive uh, the the notice uh, as soon as we publish a new video. So the next one is going to be about a possible ch administration change in, in 2023 elections. Is it possible or not? Why? Why not? And I will talk about this. So see you next time. Uh, keep safe. Bye.